Thank you uh, for giving me this opportunity to address the issue of renewable energy uh, as part of our energy policy. Uh, generally, uh, Ghana as a country, uh, we have an aggressive agenda of uh, energy penetration in terms of coverage of 100% by 2020. Uh, our energy portfolio currently stands at about 66% uh, uh, being the conventional. Uh, hydro takes a large proportion, but uh, renewable itself, it's very insignificant. Uh, we have a renewable energy policy, and within that policy framework, uh, the government thinking is to achieve 10% uh, by 2020. Uh, that is quite ambitious uh, targets uh, and it comes along with uh, several challenges. The importance of renewable as a country for us, number one, as, as a result uh, of the issues of sustainable development and climate change uh, that has confronted most developing uh, countries and also uh, the fact that it creates some opportunity of employment, you know, giving some level of employment to our uh, youth. Uh, the third, which is very key, is that within the last 10 years, we we're all aware of the increasing cost of renewable, and it was, it was so high and uncompetitive within the market platform. And so if you say you want a renewable, then of course there must be some agenda for its consumption. The good news is that the price has dropped tremendously, uh, making renewable uh, somehow competitive with the conventional uh, energy source. So that gives us, uh, especially uh, developed and developing countries, to begin to attach <laughs> renewable as part of our, our, our energy mix. Uh, we as a country have had some challenges in terms of the deployment of renewable. Despite the fact that prices of renewable has dropped nationwide, uh, we are still faced with challenges with still higher costs of renewables. Uh, surprisingly for us as a country, uh, most of our renewables have been harvested into grid and uh, the cost percent is almost in the range of about 20, 18 kilowatts you know, percent. This is quite extremely high. Wise countries like Germany, Morocco, uh, you know, and other places are working within a range of uh, four to five you know, cents. So the challenges for us is therefore uh, how do we accept and implement the continuous fall in renewable nationwide? How do you also capture that gain? We've not been able to capture the gain basically uh, because of two main things. Number one has to do with the technology of deployment and number two, uh, the assembly. Uh, because we believe that we have the manpower, but this manpower doesn't have the capacity of assembling and the technology involved in the deployment of the renewable. And so though it will be cheaper in regimes outside our country, it becomes more expensive because most of this, for instance, if you take the solar uh, rooftop, for instance, they are most often imported into the country and uh, jobs are already being created in those countries. And what that we see in our place is just the deployment. So we are losing on the job opportunity of the renewable, which would have commenced right down uh, from the onset, and all that we are witnessing is the increasing cost of you know laying the renewable uh, panel. So these have been some of the uh, the challenges. Uh, it has its own merits in terms of uh, where the, the whole world is driving into. It has its own challenge. You know, uh, one of the difficulties that again we uh, think sincerely it's uh, how are we able to use the renewable to drive the industrialization agenda. You know, of a country, we mostly are of an agrarian economy. The current president agenda is to industrialize, and so if we're going to industrialize, are we able to industrialize with high increasing costs of renewable? Obviously, we will not be able to do that, and so we will really want to apply renewable. But application of renewable must be competitive, and it should be such that it will help us to achieve our industrialization agenda as a country. Precisely, platform of this is very interesting, and uh, uh, and that is why, on behalf of the people of Ghana, uh, we want to extend our appreciation to Arena uh, because it's it give a wider opening in terms of identifying uh, cheaper source of capital, cost of capital of investment of renewable, application of technology uh, across uh, the globe. So, forum like this, of course, create a platform for discussions and also looking at where the funding is available, what technology is available, what opportunities are available for 
uh, member countries. And that is why we as a country are extremely concerned uh, of this uh, platform to see how we can capture on the platform to achieve the decreasing cost in a renewable. The opportunities are high in, in terms of the technology transfer, the employment opportunity, and also additions of renewable to our energy mix for purpose of sustainability and climate change and emissions you know, uh, uh, issues. So this is where uh, the gains and the opportunities are. The huge opportunity is the fact that Ghana still has a lot of room for consumption of electricity. We have not achieved 100% you know, penetration yet. So that's 20% that is left to go. And also the fact that we want to grow by 10% by 2020, the opportunities for the country in terms of renewable consumption is very huge.